Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm gonna to talk about one of my favorite shots and one of my best shots, the backhand slice. We're gonna go through like a progression and I, what I think is the best way to practice it because there are two things on the slice that I think are very important. First, it's when you contact the ball, being able to have the right angle and feeling the right, feeling that correct angle on your racket, keeping it consistent through the ball, and it's uh, sh shifting your momentum in correctly. Uh, there are so many things that go into the slice, but I think if you practice the way that I'm about to show you, you're gonna feel a lot more confident that your racket is going to, your strings are gonna hit the ball every time. Because so, one of the biggest problems I see, people hacking at the slice like this, they get they shank a lot of balls just because they're not hitting the the stroke has such a small um, has such a small zone of contact that they they tend to hit the strings I mean the the frame so it's really hot out here let's 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 get it going all right so slice uh, first of all grip slightly continental I like to go in between continental and eastern that's my preference but a little more towards continental, okay? So first progression that we're gonna do, you're only, you're gonna be here, bracket face slightly up, and you're gonna end right there. That's all I want you to do. So you can get a ball, and toss it to yourself, here, here, and that's all we're gonna do, okay? Here, there, okay, and stop. Because here's what you wanna do, you wanna feel the racket going from here to here in a straight line forward and you want to feel this racket face at the very end. So do this a couple times, here, there. Okay, and that's all. Alright, after you get the feel of that, I want you to turn your shoulder a little bit more, have your racket, racket face, face up, to the shoulder, so you're gonna be right here. And I still want you to stop around where you contact the ball. So you're gonna be here now, okay? You're gonna be here, stop, okay? Here, stop, okay? So this whole time, you don't have to hold the grip very tight. You wanna just, you wanna be loose, you can still stop your racket here. So here, stop. The reason I want you to stop for now is because a lot of people, when they try to do the follow through at first, they they come up with this weird carvey stuff, and that's not, that's what we don't want. That's what we want to avoid for now. Uh, right now, like when I slice, I can add a little bit, you know, I can add a little side spin. I can go pure underspin uh, with my hands, but that's because I'm really confident that I'm going to get a good contact and then I can manipulate like finer detail stuff okay so after you go here you can follow through a little bit more um, it's important that you bring your shoulders you bring your shoulders apart because you don't want to slice like this okay bringing your left shoulder back like you're doing um, one of those pull I don't know one of those pulls like on the machine the bringing this back allows this shoulder to stay and then when you're here it allows it to go through and forward see if this shoulder goes forward then your slice your racket's gonna come off the path it's just gonna go this way. okay so you want to go here you want to go forward so here Let me show you this shot from the back. Show you from the baseline, actually.
All right, guys, I'm, I'm out of the sun. It's, my camera is going to overheat. I'm going to overheat, but I hope you enjoyed that little short, short mini lesson on the slice. Um, I love this shot, man. And also if it gets you, it gets you out of so much trouble, especially if you're not playing like a D1 college player or like a, um, or like a pro that can just absolutely take it low and rip it. Um, this will give you a lot of time to come back. You can play offense on it. You can do uh, change of pace on it. And but even in the on the pro level, you watch Federer uses it a lot, really, really well. A lot of the pros, um, Dominic Team uses it very well. Um, let's find a two hand. Nishikori uses it very well. Yeah, all of the all the guys that move well, and when like they're pulled out wide or they want to. They want to make it a game of movement. They use the slice really well. And it's just it's just a tool that you can use to adjust to so many situations. So I I highly recommend that you guys practice the slice. Alright? Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe below. And as always, peace out. Have a good day.